Welcome to another video. The topic of discussion in this video is how do superficial and deep fascia differ from each other. I would like to explain this concept using this orange skin as an example. I have done this in one of my earlier videos as well. So this is the epidermis. After that this layer is the dermis. This thin layer is the superficial fascia or subcutaneous tissue which is in human body is composed of loose areolar tissue and adipose tissue and the function of this layer is to connect the dermis of the skin to the underlying deep fascia right and this deep fascia is a membranous layer of connective tissue which covers the muscles and other structures and it also sends septa inside and invests them and cover them so epidermis the dermis the loose areolar thin tissue the superficial fascia and then the deep fascia which covers the superficial and deep fascia show differences in characteristic based on the anatomic needs and the functions on the different parts of the body like in the scalp back of the neck the palms of the hands and the sole of the feet the superficial fascia contains many fibers of collagen and the the role is to hold the skin firmly to the deeper structures in other places like the eyelids the auricle of the ear and the penis and the scrotum the superficial fascia lacks adipose tissue similarly coming to the deep fascia their characteristics vary as well like say for example in the neck the deep fascia forms well defined layers and these layers play an important role in determining the path that will be taken by the pathogenic microorganisms during the spread of infection in the neck in the thorax and the abdomen the deep fascia is composed of just a thin layer of areolar tissue covering the muscles and the aponeurosis when the deep fascia of the limb is considered it forms a definite sheath around the muscles and other structures and then this deep fascia helps in holding them in place and also sends fibrous septa inside between the different groups of muscles and this helps the limbs divide into different compartments